<laughs> Dude, it's so powdery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, it's like six inches deep right there when it gets powder. It's awesome. Oh, he's gonna crash in front of me. <laughs> ha, should go take that dirt road right there. Just want to see what that suspension feels like out here in the dirt. <laughs> Just a little bit of a dirt road, guys. I'm still on the route. The route's right here. I'd like to ride the knobbies if possible. Awesome. So I gotta ask, I believe that I have seen your stuff. Don't you have some kids and you have the little like Stacy? Uh huh. That's me. Bikes? Yep. Yeah. That's it. Right on. That's rad. <laughs> so I got a black 950. Mine's an adventure. But, uh, They're such fun bikes. That motor is so fun. Yeah, that LC8 twin is great. Mm hmm. Yeah, right on. Well, I want to get you guys out on these and see what you think. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right on. Well, I want to get you guys out on these and see what you think. So. Fine. No, I'm good with high. It's fine. Okay. All right, great, you guys. So I'm gonna make sure they're in rain mode. Once you're out and you're comfortable with the handling of the bike, feel free to ride it in road or sport. On the fly. Yep. Any time on the fly is gonna do it for you. Uh, this little flashing suspension icon is just telling you the adaptive ride height has come into its lowest setting. All right. Uh, every time you go, that's going to go away. Same with the blinking ABS and traction control lights. Okay. Once they're they're armed and once they're reading, they're going to shut off altogether. Every time you come to a stop, though, that suspension light's going to blink at you. Because so every stop it lowers itself. Yeah. That's so crazy. And it's instantaneous. You won't even feel it. It's not like a servo driven lowering. It's actually hydraulic. It's opening a valve and the faster you come to a stop, the faster it pushes that fluid up into that extra reservoir. Wow. So it's really fast. The more aggressive you're riding, the faster it comes into its highest travel setting. So it's it's a really, really incredible setup. I'm, I'm really impressed with it. Any questions on operations at all? Um, I don't think so. Any questions on the route at all? No. no, right, 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 right. All the way around. <laughs> Follow the orange arrows, constantly making rights. What's up, guys? Look behind me here. We have the Harley Davidson Pan America, and we're going to take you out for a ride. So fasten your seatbelt, get a cold drink, and let's hit the road. Side stand up. Switch on. Whoa! <laughs> That's wild. Suspension just lowered down on me. So even though these bikes are in rain mode right now, dude, the pickup on this thing is crazy. All right, so now that we're coming to a stop, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this into rain mode. Oh, we were on road mode, that's why. Now we're on sport mode. So it unleashed the beast. These are really good looking machines. They've done a lot of really smart designing. I mean, we were looking at the turn signals earlier and they're all tucked inside the fairing. So your crash guard goes over, right? Your crash guard's gonna hit the ground. You're not gonna lose your turn signal and that's a big thing on all these bikes that fall over. Windshield has four different adjustment points.
oh there it is the trigger let's lower it down into the lowest position there for a little bit Up here we're gonna go straight and there's gonna be two nice sweeping corners we'll be able to test out how this thing's gonna hit this hey your panties are blowing across the road dude <laughs> a little bit of a wheelie An interesting note, different than a lot of the other motorcycles that I've ridden, is the throw on the shifter is really, really short. I mean, it's literally only moving probably half of an inch in order to be able to shift into the next gear. Yep. It got me covered down. Adjustment on the fly, that was really easy actually. There it is. Windshield just got put into the upper position. I don't know if you saw that or not. Pretty cool. It's a good looking bike. For being 550 pounds, it doesn't feel like it's that heavy. It has really good ergonomics. Now I do find that my legs or feet, my feet, my feet are back. I almost have the same seating position on this as I do on my 392. Where instead of the peg being directly below my knees, like my knees are at a 90 degree, like I feel they are on my other adventure bikes, um, the controls here are a little bit further back. And you can see that it's almost like a rear, not a rear set, but the, the pegs are back further than I would have imagined that they would have been on an adventure style motorcycle. It's a comfortable position. position so because those pegs are further back I feel like my, my butt's kind of poking out back and I'm kind of having to lean forward a little bit I mean a really nice feature is you can switch from that rain mode to the road mode to the sport mode without having to stop and pull over have the bike in neutral it's a benefit. I can't believe how fast this motor is. 150 horsepower is 100% apparent. How aggressive that power is being put down. Lots of torque, man. So much torque on this motor. So I'm finding these foot pegs to be a little bit narrow or too close in to the motorcycle. I find that when I'm sitting here, only half of my foot, is, or my foot's on only the outside half of the peg. We've got some rubber cushions in there that you can take out, so you can just have the spiky foot peg. But definitely a wider foot peg would be a benefit. It's a hot bike. Huh? It's a hot bike. The motor is warm, for sure. Hey Sven, you're not going to like the heat of the motor. I can tell you that right now. Dude, he's got ball power today. 
Dude, it's impressive. So whereas most Harley V-Twins vibrate, rattle, shake, all that craziness, there's zero vibration. This motor is super smooth. There was no oncoming traffic, it'd be awesome to slalom these things. I can show you how nimble this machine is. It's got a really mild breakover. When you give the bike input and you tell it to turn, it does it. It's not super fast to, re to respond, but it's really linear in its transition. Well, the suspension was smooth enough on that gravel road, I do feel that if you were to hit large whoops and jumps and things of that nature, I really don't think this bike has the amount of suspension travel that the other big brands have, like the BMW 1250 or the KTM 890s or 1290s. Oh, take a look at the headlight. So on the headlight, you can see, dude, weave. So the headlight back there has a transition. So basically as, you, as you're going straight, the beams are going straight. But then as you lean the bike over, you can see that those LEDs are lighting up to one side and then changing and lighting up to the other side as you lean the other direction. That's impressive. Testing out the anti-lock brakes. Wow. Feels like it took a long time to stop. So I've got the seat in the high position, but there are two different positions that you can put the seat in. So I'm five foot nine. I wear a 32 inch pant. Scott wears a 30 length pant. Um, I have my seat in the high mode and I can touch the balls of my feet on both sides of the bike. He's in the low mode. Hey dude, put your foot down. And he's on the balls of his feet too, but again, his inseam is like two inches shorter than mine. So for the fact that the, these bikes can be set up relatively easily for no matter what height you are, it's pretty cool. <laughs> he's telling me that the pegs need to be a little further forward, like I was saying earlier. They're in a weird position. <laughs> he just got blasted by a dust storm right there. That's crazy. The balance of this motorcycle is phenomenal. Oh, that's weird. Check it out. So I keep trying to put the center stand down. But the, the side stand, the way you do it, is you use the heel of your foot instead of the toe of your foot. Pretty short throw. Alright guys, we just got off our test ride of the new Harley Davidson Pan America. This is a really neat machine. I gotta say that Harley Davidson has done a phenomenal job when it comes to taking a look at what people in the long distance touring realm are looking for. They want something that produces lots of power. They want something that's smooth. They want something that's gonna be easily maneuverable. Um, they want something that you can touch the ground on. And, and all the things that they've done on this bike, the adaptive suspension, being able to lower the seat. I mean, most manufacturers allow you to lower the seat or raise the seat about an inch or so. But the fact that this suspension, as you pull it to a stop, automatically lowers itself so you can flat foot this thing, it's pretty impressive. So is this a motorcycle that I would want to own or put in the garage? I would say yes. If I were going to be doing long distance cruising and touring and want to be able to hit a fire road when I get to where I'm going, this bike is a great option. Mad power. And that's it guys. The Harley Davidson Pan America here at Harley Davidson's Test Ride event. Big shout out to these guys for allowing us to come out and take their bikes out for a ride. That's it. The Harley Davidson Pan America. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, take care and ride safe. Take it to the lake, it'll float. There you go. <laughs> it'll float. Absolutely.
The other set of bags uh, are these guys right here, and those do have liners on them. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice.